Okay, so what's going on, y'all? We're not going to mess around. I just got the RTX 4090 MSI Gaming Trio installed. Unreal Engine 5 is running 5.03, not 5.01. Um, I loaded this environment here, the Broadleaf Forest, and I'm running this in 4K resolution in Pi. Never been able to do that before with my previous graphics cards. Always ran a 1920 by 1080, getting about 45 frames per second. So... To kind of put it in perspective, I'm getting the same frames per second in 4K as I was getting it in my 3090 and A6000, if that makes sense. So here we are in here. I have some. I have the MSI burner, and we are running this card 100%. As you can see, the top left corner, we're not being very kind to this. So let's walk around in here so you can kind of see it. And I'm recording this in 4K 60 frames per second, folks. In two years' time, we've come from the 3090 to 4090 in... I don't, what's going to happen two years from now? This is just mind-blowing. And again, I said this two years ago. It is such a privilege to be alive right now. You know, watching the graphics, playing from my Nintendo Game Boy to looking at this graphics, playing a video game that looks like this. It's been truly a privilege to see it evolve. Um, and I'm sure a lot of y'all feel the same way, but... I'm running this at 50 frames per second. Um, I'm not sure why in D uh, Direct 11 showing 93 frames per second. Um, but when I'm moving around in here, it feels like 38, 45. Because it's very similar to how it felt when I was playing in 1920, 1080 using the 3090. Um, a couple of things. I tried changing the settings to DX12. But I was getting crashes for some reason. I'm not sure. Uh, I just was not opening the project. I'm going to have to look into that. But 4K resolution, Unreal Engine 5. This just looks absolutely incredible, y'all. This is running Lumen, uh, Virtual Shadow Maps, everything, the whole shebang. And I am going to run this in 5.1 whenever it comes out. Just to see how it compares. But... Wow. Running this in 4K. I mean, look, l just look at these textures. Um, I, I, I'm not, I'm trying to remember if they're 4K or 8K, but again, if they're only 4K, you can even crank it up to 8K. That, that's just crazy. Uh, I, I do have DLSS, the plugin enabled, but I have it off right now. Um, and this is, the regular DLSS 2, if I remember correctly, because the DLSS 3 is not out yet for Unreal, as far as I know, of course. But whenever the DLSS 3 comes out for Unreal in Cyberpunk and all those games, it's supposed to, we're going to make videos as well. Um, but wow. It, it, this just looks freaking incredible, man. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. 50, about 48 to 50 frames per second in 4K. Uh, Ultra HD 380 40 by 2160. Crazy. And what I'm going to do is actually flip some DLSS settings so you can kind of see the difference and see how it, see how it looks. But again, just a reminder, it, it, it's not it's not um, DLSS 3 yet. It's just crazy to me because as y'all know, Silent Hill was announced today, Silent Hill 2 Remake, uh, and they're making that in Unreal Engine. So, you know, I'm excited about that, because when I was a kid, I played three games. You know, when I was a nine-year-old, ten-year-old, uh, Resident Evil 2, Silent Hill, and Metal Gear Solid. And it's just pretty cool to see what's going to happen. Um, it looks like PS5 only, though. It kind of sucks, so whatever. Maybe one day I'll buy a PS5. All right, so what I'll do is I'll press Escape here, and let's take a look at the settings. Um, let's go ahead and go to the blueprints I have set up here. I'm gonna make this bigger for y'all so you can kind of see it. Uh, we have contact shadows that comes with the map. I have stat FPS and now I'm going to connect the DLSS. So about quality right now. We'll set it to quality and see how much FPS we gain or lose depending on what's going to happen. So earlier we we're getting around 50, 48 to 50 frames per second. And I'm going to go ahead and replay it. Sometimes it bugs out. And as you, all right, so now you can see that frames per second up there. Um, so this is with the LSS on set to quality. Um, and as you can see, it's crisper, but you do lose some FPS in there. About 35, 36, 
in 4K resolution. Let's see if we can engage this uh, person right here. He's dead already. So about 35, uh, 35 frames per second at running quality uh, DLSS. Again, DLSS 2, I think. So that's 40, 40-ish. 40 so we're losing about 10 frames per second by swapping over to quality DLSS. Looks incredible, man. It looks amazing. And we are maxing this trio out to 100% usage, y'all. You can see that in the top left corner. Uh, it's using around 12 gigs of VRAM. So yeah, about 76... Uh, Fahrenheit, Celsius, whatever. So it's running pretty good. I have it open. It's it's not closed. The case is closed. I mean, open. And it is pretty hot up here. I don't have the AC running that high. Here's the textures. And I don't even think these are non nanite yet. Um, don't get me to lie to you. I, I'm not sure. I guess we'll check here in a second. So again, 40 frames per second by switching this to DLSS quality All right press escape uh, i guess we can go ahead and see if it is nanite enabled nanite visualization triangles nah it is not All right so no it's not let's go to blueprint and let's change this to balance which i think i like i've mentioned in the channel before this is my favorite setting because you know the fps you, the quality versus the fps uh loss is not that big. It looks. It still looks pretty good, even though you're gaining some good FPS back. And as you see right there, we're at 50-ish when we started, so about 40, 40 now. And this is with balanced. Let's see if I can throw a grenade at this dude. Sticky. Oh, I missed. I can't believe I missed. <laughs> I'm spraying him. I'm scared now. Wait. Oh, wait, wait. I I'm about to die. Oh my gosh, that was so close. And it's funny enough, the whole FPS scenario, we're going to talk about it. Um, Gotham Knights is coming out soon. And it's capped out at 30 frames per second. And people are canceling their orders, which is... Crazy to me, but then again, you know, you buy a console or whatever, and they advertise that for like higher frames per second. I kind of see both sides of it. Um, but if the story is good, 30 frames per second ain't bad, man. It's still playable, let's be honest. Um, but the gameplay has to be good. If you're gonna give me 30 frames per second, the story better be good. So, this is balanced, like I said, it still looks pretty good. Um, but we're going to the 48 ish, 50 ish frames per second now with balance this still looks amazing yeah wow i just hit 50 right there and i'm curious to see what the x12 uh performance wise is to be honest but i'll figure out why i was glitching out or not running at all okay so let's go ahead and go to the next setting which is going to be performance right so this performance save i mean we're staying in the 40 to 50 frames per second again i have to do it twice so that's kind of like a range in 4k and we are now in performance mode so this is i would say technically the crappiest quality because it's pushing that performance um but yeah so th this is that I'm going to bother this guy again. So let's walk around. You're getting that 48 to 50. You're hitting 50 a lot faster with this one. And uh, again, with, yeah, there you go. 57, 58 in performance mode. And it still looks pretty darn good, if you ask me, y'all. This is at 4K, no optimization whatsoever. I just ran this. 
put it together real quick and just ran it with no optimization. Looks amazing. Can't wait to actually have time because I really want to start making small mini games and let y'all download it, my YouTube members, one day, eventually. But this looks good. This looks really good. It's pretty cool. Two years from now, I'm going to be able to run 4K at 80 frames per second. Who knows? But in two years' time, for the price, the price increase is about $300. I bought the RTX 3090 for $1499 two years ago. And I bought this for $1,700 flat. So it increased in price, but I am now able to run this in 4K which is a lot playable. And I guess what I can do is I'm going to try and play this in 1980 by 10, I mean 1920 by 1080 HD so you can kind of see what that looks like and how much uh, frames per second we can get without the LSS real quick. Okay, so this is 1920 by 1080 resolution and um, no DLSS at all. So you're running at 60, 70 frames per second. And as you can see, this got a little bit blurry. Um, I can definitely tell it with my 4K monitor here. But we're running at about 66, 67, 70 frames per second at 1920 by 1080. And again, just a reminder, with an RTX 3090, I would be getting like 30 to 40 frames per second at this point. But yeah, the way you can tell, those textures are much blurrier you know and i have terrible eyes so i can definitely tell that this is a lot uh less resolution all right so that's 60 70 ish um let's try dlss now go to blueprint and let's go ahead and check it out performance let's do performance real quick save it and then run this and i think i probably have to do it twice okay and then we'll run this here and here you go. This is Performance DLSS running at 67, 68 frames per second. Running in the Pi, about 60 frames per second. Pretty solid. Yeah, 66, 65, 67. About 70. There it goes 73, 74. But as you can see, it is pretty blurry now at, at this point. It doesn't look as good. But you are getting that high frames per second. And it looks like the usage went down to like 99%, 98%. So it's not ta as taxing as, you know, 4K that I was running earlier. Whoa! <laughs> that dude just... <laughs> I totally forgot about that guy. There he is. Yo, I had 30 left. I'm, I'm about to die, y'all. He walked right into it. Oh my god! But yeah, that's pretty much it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna revisit some of the maps that I played with Unreal Engine 4 and the RTX 3090 and really just compare it to now the RTX 4090. Uh, because like I said, I was curious to see of how much of a performance difference is the RTX 3090 and the RTX 4090, and I'm sure some y'all are wondering the same thing. But so far, I've noticed a couple of things already. First, the shaders compile much faster, which is insane. And as you can see here, even with the older DLSS, uh, the previous gen DLSS, you really get some nice FPS boost. All right, so with that being said, let me know if you have any questions. Um, uh, let me know in the comments below what other maps or games you want me to test out with the RTX 4090. Uh, and again, just be warned, it's about to be a bunch, a bunch of RTX 4090 content coming out here. Alright, peace out.